Hey guys, how are you doing? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision and I want to show you how to create a basic pattern using arrows. Once, uh, one is in negative space, the other one is in positive space and I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. Uh, but before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get new updates. So we're going to create our first rectangle. As you can see here, you can select the rectangle to also. We're going to press Shift plus Alt and hold and create our first uh, square. We're gonna create another one. We're gonna press and hold Alt and drag it down. Press also Shift, press Shift and rotate this once. And from here, we're gonna select the Delete Anchor Point tool, which also you can find it in uh, here in the Pen tool. We're gonna delete this area. Okay, from here I'm gonna go and uh, unite. So uh, the bounding box is going to be like this. If you don't have the Pathfinder, then go to Windows and select Pathfinder. Uh, I'm gonna attach this here, and of course we're gonna bring down the size of this square. But how we need to do this? Uh, basically, we need. Uh, this square to fit half way here you know like this is not half at the moment you can see it's like uh, less than half and then I'm gonna adjust the triangle to be you know half I'm gonna press ctrl R and I'm gonna drag a ruler or what is that a, um, a grid here so I know exactly where I need to drag it so I can delete this one I'm going to press uh, Shift plus Alt and hold it and scale it down. As you can see, it's going in pixels like, uh, you know, like this. It's not going smoothly because uh, the snap, snap to pixels is basically activated. So if it's activated, then it's going to snap like that. I'm going to snap it here. I'm going to press this to disappear. This is the, this is how it looks and it makes the grid disappear or appear. Okay, I'm gonna group this. And now I'm gonna go to Object, Pattern and Make. As you can see, this is it. Um, you can see a uh, arrow in white and there's the arrow in black also. I'm gonna press here the Done I'm going to zoom out and uh, create another square and I'm going to go here in the swatches. If you don't have the swatches, then again, go here and select the swatch. Where's basically the swatch swatches, but basically this uh, should have, should be here like automatically if you install the software and click here. So uh, the pattern is going to be imported here after you click OK. And now you can see um, the arrows. If you zoom in and out, you see different arrows or the white or the black. And this is how you make it, man. This is how you make uh, the arrow pattern. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye-bye.